Hey guys, you are on Cody Tarot, channel Cody Tarot. This is Cody. And um, today we're gonna be doing some yes or no answers. Um, these are pretty simple, short, to the point readings. So basically you can ask any kind of question you want and it's gonna give you basically a yes or no answer. I'm gonna go into a little bit of detail about the specifics of the question or what it could be relating to. And other than that, we're just gonna end with a simple yes or no. So here are the crystals before you. Think of the question you want um, to ask and then focus in on the crystal. So first we have this orange agate. Then we have this ocean kyanite. Then we have this blue lace agate. Then we have this piece of amber. Then lastly, we have this moonstone. All right, so I'm gonna give you a moment to choose and select your crystal. You can pause the video here if you need to. After this moment of selection, we will move on with the readings. All right, and with that, we'll move on with group number one, the orange agate. Hey guys, this is if you picked the um, orange agate. I guess I'm gonna put this over here. All right, so first of all, we have your oracle card is your hard work is paying off. The next one is the three of pentacles. The next one is the hangman. And the next one is the ace of wands. So this is a yes. Let me explain what's going on in the yes. Okay, so basically what we have here, um, I'm guessing most of you are talking about a career or um, work type situation. Basically, you have been working really hard at this goal and you're curious if it's going to be paying off in the long run. And your hard work is paying off. New Moon and Capricorn is just showing that it is. What you're doing now is going to create the yes in the future. So whatever it is you're doing now, like working hard to achieve or whatever kind of like uh, momentum you have and um, that kind of stick to itiveness, that's really going to pay off in the end. We see here that this is also a situation with like a group that basically because you're working with these people and because you're you're sharing um, work the work with others that um, this is what's also going to help it pay off. The fact that you are collaborating with other people in this endeavor is really going to make this a very strong yes. Other things pointing to this being a yes is that we have, first of all, we have the hangman here, which is a shift in perspective. And then ace of wands, and this is where you get the thing that you want. So ace of wands, if this is, if this is about a relationship, because, you know, these are general readings, um, this is about... Um, communicating with a group of people or like a, a group therapy type thing or even like just a friend group like talking to your friends about the relationship drama or the relationship issues and getting advice from them and constructively building with your friend group on that that will change your perspective and give you that new sense of passion and excitement for your relationship you know your hard work about what you're putting into this relationship is gonna pay off um, this is definitely a strong yes. So if this is a career reading, this new, like this new passion that is going to be ignited, you're going to get this new sense of fire under your belly. Basically by working with all these people, then when you take a break and getting that shift in perspective, that's what ignites this new passion. So I hope that helped you guys. Um, I'm trying to think if there's anything else I can see in this one. Yeah, I definitely see sort of a transformation phase with this pile. Like this is going to be a yes, but it's like a yes where you have to go through a process of change to like get out on the other side. So it's it's kind of like the caterpillar who, you know, eats a whole bunch of food all year long just to like go and put himself in a cocoon to turn into be a butterfly, right? Except the kind of food that you're eating right now is just these kind of like collaborative working with other people you know, this is all about like teamwork, um, team building. Uh, this can be just like collaboration and uh, congenial relationships. Um, and that's what is going to be the food for this shift in perspective. So it's looking like a yes. This is a very strong yes. I'm glad to say that. Um, happy to deliver that yes for you guys. So wonderful. Yeah, your hard work is paying off. That's the most consistent thing here is that, you know, keep sticking to it. The hard work is really what's going to make this a yes, you know, or make it even a stronger yes than what you're already going to get.
So good, good for you guys. Uh, moving on to, oh yeah, if you like this reading, you can like or comment below. If you really like this reading, you can subscribe to my channel. I post picket cards pretty frequently. And um, yeah, with that said, moving on to group two. Okay, everyone who picked the Ocean Kyanite. So here is your reading for you. So here's your cards. We have your first Oracle card, A Time for Healing. Then we have the Hermit. We have the Five of Pentacles, and we have the um, Six of Swords. Okay, so um, this is actually going to be a no. And the reason it is a no is because Spirit is trying to make you focus on this time for healing, right? A time for healing came up. And this is just saying that before you can move on to the next stage and get that yes that you want, you kind of have to go within, uh, just like the hermit, you have to go within and search in the inner recesses of your soul to find out what truly is, um, what is truly your guiding light, where kind of your actual direction. If you look at the hermit, he's kind of like, if you think of a lighthouse, you know, guiding people with the direction, you have to kind of look within to find out what your true direction is. Um, and I'm not like the one to tell you like, oh, what is your true direction or not? It could be that what the goal you want that you're trying to go for is your true direction. But with that said, you know, it's, you know, spirit's trying to tell you, look inside, look within and make sure you're for sure, sure about it being your true direction. Basically, there's a lot of healing work that needs to be done. If this is a relationship, basically it's saying that this relationship's not going to happen because there's still a lot of healing work that needs to be done. Basically, it shows that you feel like you've been shut out in the cold, metaphorically, obviously. And this person, these people are outside this building or outside of this um, church. And I kind of take that as a sign that maybe like you're, you know, you need to get more in tune with your spiritual side. Um, and this can also represent like being shut out from like community things. But with the hermit here, we're, we're seeing that this is good. So even though it feels like, this also feels like you don't want this to happen. That you kind of want this yes, but you're kind of resisting this change of like trying to go within to heal. So what we're seeing here is that it's really important to go in to heal. Um, and you can continue on the same path as before. What we see here actually is that, you know, this these people are kind of like going and and traveling to a destination, right? And this guy is guiding them. But you see that they're hurt, right? It's like the difference between going towards your goal with like a can-do, positive, um, inspired attitude coming from a place of inner strength. I'm surprised the strength card didn't pop up here. Uh, versus like just trudging along and kind of like trying to get it or trying to get this thing that you think is going to work for you. But there's like bigger issues going on. There's, there's basically you need to heal before you can accomplish this thing or get this yes that you're looking for. Um, yeah, I hope that uh, made things pretty clear. <laughs> um, yeah, so um, if you like the reading, um, you can, oh yeah, sorry it was a no. Um, but this is like really good. Basically, this is not saying it's basically not going to be a no for forever. It's just saying for right now, until you do all of this inner work and find out what your true path is, it's going to be a no. Now, it turns out after you do the inner work, your true path might be the path you were already on or the goal you're already going to. But the, instead of trudging through it with this kind of like defeated attitude, you're going to go to it very strongly with gusto, kind of more like the chariot card. So, um, yeah. So if you like the reading, you can like or comment below. If you really like the reading, you can subscribe to my channel. I post these pick a cards pretty frequently. Um, with that said, um, really enjoyed reading for you guys. And with that said, moving on to group three. Okay, group three. This is if you pick the blue lace agate. I guess it could be blue chalcedony. It's one or the other. Okay, so here are your tarot cards. So we have your good enough, full moon in Virgo, knight of pentacles, page of wands, and ace of pentacles in reverse. Hold on, I'm gonna actually need to pull um, some more cards just to get some clarification. Ah, okay. Okay. 
Okay, what we're kind of seeing here is this um, interesting facet. Let me move these cards over. So you are good enough is like the main thing. This is an interesting reading because it doesn't strike me as like a yes or a no answer, but I'm going to just go with the reading and then hopefully by the end of it, we'll have a yes or no answer. So first of all, you are good enough. This is just kind of the main self-esteem image in this situation because what we see here is that you have kind of... Um, you have like this Knight of Pentacles energy and this Page of Wands person. These people are these are these two other people in your life or entities in your life. They could be jobs or options for jobs. They could also be relationships or options for relationships. And basically what it's saying is that um, neither of these options are really going to provide you that kind of like growth that you're looking for. I definitely see this as more of like a career reading, but it could be... Um, if this Ace of Pentacles rep was, you know, could represent like your heart, you know, but basically what we have here is one situation where the person is very like critical of your, of you and yourself. So you are good enough is just coming up to say like, don't, you don't want to like surrender to them because they're not the ones that have your best interests in, at mind, right? They're just basically being assessment. Now this is, this is going to be a different situation if you already have a strong self-esteem and you're definitely can handle that kind of critical nature. So it's basically up to you whether you can handle this critical nature. You are good enough is basically the attitude you're going to need to take to handle this. So it's kind of like a yes a yes, but if you are, you know, but if you know yourself and you don't have that kind of like thick skin to handle this type of um, critique, I don't know if you can see that this guy's um, examining this wand. This is definitely kind of like, you know, this reminds me of like the typical, like anytime someone's assessing your product or something you created. And then we also see here that this is going to take a lot of patience and time to um, actualize this goal that um, what we see here is that the work that you put in, even though it's going to be slow and tedious and steady work, the work that you put in, like this guy's handing this pentacle over to this side, and then this guy right here is handing it back, and this card's in reverse. It's almost like no matter what the work you put in, you're always going to get like, you're not going to get any like good return. It's going to be just handed right back to you, if that makes sense. So you're going to be like offering these things or working for this company or something, and you're not going to get like the validation you seek. I definitely see this as being like validation or like a, a validation card. And this is just saying that you are good enough. You really don't need this institution or this other person to like validate your, your, your worth. You are good enough. Full Moon and Virgo is just showing that you really are good enough. What we see here is that... Um, to get some better clarity on the situation, um, I pulled the Temperance card for the Ace of Pentacles just to see like what kind of like give and take they're talking about. And it's in reverse, which basically just means that there's not a really a balance in this situation. Okay, so I'm, I'm getting this is going to be a no. But there's not really a, the balance in the situation where the effort you're putting in, you're not really receiving it in return. And this person or, or company or whoever it is is being like extra critical of you. And that's just no bueno. So what we want to do is get this Temperance upright where we have this kind of even exchange of um even exchange of water between cups like a really good beautiful give and take right um we want you know this pentacle to not be like you know you you don't want to be just working for people and then not getting anything in return you know or them just returning your own work to you as if they don't appreciate it you know and just being critical of you saying like well we don't even need your work because it's not good enough anyway and blah 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 we don't want any of that once you out of that situation, focus on your self-esteem. Look for those people and things that won't do this to you. Um, so this is going to be a no, um, just because these people aren't really don't really respect your work ethic enough to give you the time of day, basically. So yeah, so um, sorry about that. Sorry to know, um, but. Better knowledge is power, right? <laughs> yeah. So if you like the reading, you can like or comment below. Um, if you really like the reading, you can subscribe to my channel. Um, I post picking cards like this pretty frequently. I really liked reading for you guys. Remember, you are good enough. You really are. You There will be people who, who find that in you and support you in that, especially with how you work and how you operate and what you can provide and bring to the table. Anyway, I really enjoyed reading for you guys. Moving on to group four. Hey, group four, this is if you picked the um, amber. I love that amber piece. It's so pretty. Okay, so let's get into your tarot cards or your oracle cards. You have 
Don't let pride get in your way. Full moon in Leo. We have the six of pentacles in reverse. The seven of cups upright. And the moon upright. Hmm. So this is going to be a no. Um, there's a few things. I'm actually going to pull another card for this group as well. Um, just to see more of an outcome. So we're getting like the problem, but I want to get some of the solution. Oh, okay, 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 okay. Okay, so here's the thing with this. Okay, so we have a situation where like you really want something because you're in this kind of situation over here where, uh, let me make sure the camera's still on where you're in this kind of situation over here where there's not really an equal give and take and you're trying to provide for, it's, it shows basically you're trying to provide for people, or you're trying to provide for people or show that you're the generous one or the one that is kind of like the giver in the group. Um, or don't let your pride get in your way is the key aspect of this because basically all of this stems from your pride. And so this is kind of one of those things where if you follow through with this, it's gonna be a no. Um, and basically what we get here with the solution page of, page of swords in reverse is withholding and restraining yourself in this situation and waiting for a more opportune moment is going to be the best thing for you. So yeah, this is definitely a no. I know you want to like be help these people. It's definitely comes from a place of wanting to help them and you really want people to feel good and you're trying to help these people. But what they're saying is that now is not the exact time. You actually are going to suffer more if you try to help these people. You need to kind of it's weird. You don't want to let pride get in your way, but you want to take care of yourself. But the pride is actually in this generous thing where you're like trying to be overly generous with people. So basically what it's saying is that this like aspect of what you're trying to achieve to kind of like get to this status of where you like are being overly or where you can be generous with other people and share your wealth or share your money. What we have here is that there's like kind of like a, a lot of options you're thinking about for things to do. But with the moon card right here, it just shows that you're not seeing very clearly. Like all of these options like would normally be great options and you're, you'd be on point with like picking one and going towards your goal, right? But what we see here is this moon card upright just shows that there is something that is not being revealed. Um, there is something, and especially when we have the moon and the clouds and the dreams and stuff, there's a lot going on in your subconscious and your mind. And so that kind of needs to be cleared out. We see here that with the page of swords in reverse, um, upright, I always strike, this page always strikes me as someone who has a whole big imagination or tons of fanciful thoughts in their um, mind. And so we see in the reverse here that those are kind of overtaking you and this kind of like subconscious drives are kind of like, being thwarted kind of in your goal, your kind of subconscious is affecting how you're going to process and achieve that goal. Um, what we see here, though, is that like, you know, the clouds could clear eventually and the moon could be turned this way, which just shows that, you know, the moon is dark, all is revealed. Um, you know, the, the lunacy of the situation and how it is affecting you is not um, at play in the present moment. But what we see with the Page of Swords is that you will have a better option. So basically you'll be asking if, if you just hold out, you know, knowing that not everything is not revealed yet, like things are going to be revealed to you in this situation. That's going to make you be like, oh my gosh, I'm glad I didn't do that. You know? So this is a no, but like a protection no, right? And we also have Leo here and, you know, lions, you know, I can see them as being very protective. So don't let pride get in your way. It's kind of like don't let haste get in your way as well. So it's like, you really want to be this benevolent kind of like leader, but it's basically saying that like, this is not the time to uh, go for that. But this page of swords is definitely the answer to your situation. Like if you look at him and how he restrained he is and holding back his sword, he's waiting for the right moment to act. So that's kind of in your situation, you're, you're waiting for that right moment to act. And you're definitely, you want to wait till this, this, this stuff is revealed. And the thing is, I know you can feel it. I know that like when the moon card comes up, 
there's obviously something that you know is not right about this situation or about these options. There's something not right about it in the sense that you know on a deeper level like that there's something just off, right? And if you're not feeling that, this might not be your pile because the moon clearly is one of those cards where it's like, it's when your your intuition is kind of showing you that there might be something off, but in in it's just something hasn't been revealed yet. There's just something odd or off about it. So it's not it's not good to pursue any of these fantasies knowing that all the options you're picking right now, there's kind of like, there's something off in the situation. Restraint is really gonna be your friend and you'll be asking a totally different question and it's most likely the answer is gonna be a yes in the future. But for this particular answer and this particular question, it's gonna be no. So, <laughs> so uh, yeah, if you like the reading, um, you can like or comment below. If you really like the reading, you can subscribe to my channel. I post pick a cards like this pretty frequently. Um, with that said, um, oh, I really enjoyed reading for you guys. Don't worry about it. You're, you're probably already pretty much a badass as it is. You know, you don't have to worry about, you know, being even more of a, you know, uh, you know, cool, cool, cool cat, cool Leo cat, cat. Anyway, so um, I really enjoyed reading for you guys. Uh, moving on with group five. Hello, group five. This is if you picked the Moonstone. So let's get into your reading. So first we have the end of a tough cycle approaches. Uh, and that's full moon in Capricorn. The High Priestess. The World. And Page of Pentacles reversed. Hold on, let's see. <laughs> let's see. This is probably going to be a yes. Let me like double check real quick. Oh, wow. This is really good. So um, you know those... I don't really know, oh, man, I, I feel so bad because I'm not well read in the community of like psychic phenomena, but I understand the concepts. I've been through a lot of it myself, but I just don't know the lingo. But I think it's called the dark night of the soul. Um, something like that. It's, it's basically this transition where you go through a really tough, like crazy hard, difficult period. And you kind of come out the other end. The way my friend puts it is you come out the other end with like psychic gifts or psychic abilities. And that's totally the case in your, your situation. So the end of a tough cycle approaches is basically what's happening is that you are going to be, basically it's kind of like, if you were asking like, is this cycle going to end or is all this crap in my life going to end? Is all this bad stuff in my life going to end? The answer is yes. So if you are asking about a relationship right if you've been single for a long time and you're looking for a good sign that things are going to turn around the answer is yes you have so much success coming your way right and your intuition is going to be so heightened and paired very well with that success it's probably going to come as a windfall right like you'll start knowing things intuitively and also on top of that the things will just start be like starting to fall into place right so this page of pentacles just shows that like in reverse just shows that First of all, people are going to be admiring you just like he's kind of admiring this pentacle. And they're also going to be like, look at these two cards together. They're going to be placing all these pentacles at your feet. You're almost going to be worshipped. Um, <laughs> and that's going to kind of interesting, I think, um, that you're going to have kind of this like uh, fame and fortune. It's almost like the Six of Wands, like the Six of Wands should have popped out. But I definitely see this like fame, this worship. Um, you're definitely drawing a lot of attention from others. Um but yeah, you have the end of a cycle is approaching and it's going to be beautiful. You're going to get so much success, so much um, love and joy and amazement. Um, so whatever you're asking about, if this is a career thing you're asking about, like, and you've been struggling to find a job that you're going to get the job. If it's about a relationship, you're going to find someone, you know, it's, it's about like, you're going to find someone plus more. It's like, you're going to get what you want plus extra stuff. <laughs> you know, this page of pentacles, putting this pentacle down by this person's feet it's just basically saying like, okay, you're going to have all this stuff and people are also going to be like just giving you treasure, <laughs> you know? So this is definitely a very positive yes. It's a very strong yes. It sucks that you had to go through this. The end of a tough cycle approaches that's really, that's really turd. But look on the bright side, it is going to be 180 from what you have been experiencing. I guarantee it, right? Um, and this feels pretty sudden too. It feels, it doesn't feel... Um, What's it called? Gradual. And for some of you, it might be, it might be a gradual um, getting better and going into a better situation. But whatever you're asking about, um, see, for example, if you were asking about your life, like, will my life ever get better? Or my life ever be, will I feel happy and stuff? This is a definite yes. And that might be gradual because it's over a lifetime, right? But if it's something simple, like, will I get the job or something? It's a quick yes. It's a quick return. 
Um, it's really wonderful. Um, you might actually be going on a trip or having to travel overseas or, you know, traveling, or maybe this is kind of an international venue. Um, I don't know if you are a YouTuber or maybe you, maybe you have some kind of intuitive business and it's going to reach people internationally. I can definitely kind of see that, um, you know, with the eye and including the world, right? This is all kind of reminding me of like remote viewing. Like if you kind of were like dealing with people, like I'm kind of imagining like being a psychic or using your your services to like reach people all over the globe, kind of. Um, this is a really wonderful reading. I'm really glad I got to like deliver this to you. We had a couple no's in the piles. Oh, shouldn't give that away if you want to use this, <laughs> these readings like later. But for, for this one, it's a yes. It's a very solid, big, powerful yes. So if you like that reading, you can like or comment below. Um, if you really like the reading, you can subscribe to my channel. I post picky cards like this pretty frequently. With that said, I love reading for you guys. And that was the last one for today. So bye. I will see you later. See you in the next video. Bye.